Hi everyone, it's Anne Crafty Kimchi. Welcome back to my channel. I am back with a tutorial. I had shown on my Instagram page this bulldog clip heart dangle. I don't know what to call it, but it is a beaded dangle that I just created to put on packaging. And I love how this came out. Again, I have done a tutorial like this before, but I did it with pom poms. So I figured I'd come back and show you how I put this one together. And Basically, the items that you're going to need is, and I already took the liberty of doing so, is I took a, um, these are some beads from Target, and they come like this. They think they were in the bullseye section last year, and I just took the XO, XO and some hearts, and this is a heart bling, and I have, I'm going to show you my box of yummies. This is my box of yummies. These are pretty much my collection of all these crystal glass um, shapes. I have some butterflies. I have some hearts and most of these were hauled from AliExpress with the exception of these I got from Michaels and I cherish those so um, Yeah, and I just hung this on with a little clip on the bottom I love how this came out and here I have little wire wrap beads that I used some of these clay clay discs um and then um, I just put a little heart bead and yeah, I love how this came out. Um, you will need in this tutorial a piece of chipboard and this measures in height about three and a half. You can use anything, honestly. You can use a credit card. You can use um, packaging, a postcard. You just need something to wrap around and you might not like it this long. You might want a shorter version. So, you know, use your judgment accordingly. This, the process will be the same despite whatever length you want it to be. And you'll also need some beads. And I just hauled these from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to use three different colors and I'm going to use an offset different size bead just to give it a little bit of something else besides just hearts. And I use this bulldog clip. This is one I purchased from um, Tuesday morning, and I think it was a Tidy Swap brand, but I don't have any more of these. So I went into my clip box, and I'm going to show you another box of yummies. And this is my collection of paper clips and clips. I definitely have a problem, <laughs> but you know, I've been collecting for a while, and I was like, okay, woman, bust out your stash. So here I am. I took out some clips here i have this one here hauled from target a while ago this one is um martha stewart one or this one so you can really do any option it doesn't really matter i just wanted to show you different methods to um hang your little tassel dangle you will need a needle and this one is a fairly uh big size long one i like the longer ones because it's easier to loop through and the hole is fairly di a big size um, let me just tell you, this is kind of an, um, I think this is an a, embroidery needle. This measures about, it says six centimeters, I'm on the wrong end, two and a half. So it's a fairly long needle. And again, the hole is fairly big, so you can still manage to thread the embroidery thread and feed it through your beads. You'll need a jump ring, any jump ring of your size. And... Whatever dangles you choose to do, I've already took, taken the liberty of putting mines together. And let's get started in the tutorial. You'll just also need some embroidery thread and a pair of scissors. Um, this one I will show you at the end what to do with this. This is a bottle cap puncher. And this has is also another handy tool to have in your stash. So I'm going to take my chipboard and i'm going to start the wrapping process and really there is no rhyme or reason to this you stop when you think it's full enough and you just keep wrapping and i can't tell you how many times to wrap because i, I just stop when i think it's full enough and just keep wrapping i'd like to keep it close together because when you pull it off it's nice and easy so just try to stay to the end of the chipboard or whatever you do use to wrap and just keep wrapping. And I think this is such a wonderful way to jazz up your gift bags, your, your embellishments, whatever it is. It's just a nice hanging element that your pals or whatever can use again and again. And honestly, the use of the, the clip just makes it so easy and not permanent. And who doesn't love this method for Valentine's Day? It's a great way to send a little handmade goodie 
oh I forgot to mention also you will need them some thread only because I do like to wrap thread around my tassels I think it just gives it a little bit I don't know extra you can use this embroidery thread as well I just prefer thinner thread it just makes it for a more delicate piece okay and I think this is done I am gonna cut the end and I'm just gonna leave that on there for now and I am gonna cut a fairly long piece I don't know this is probably about 12 inches if I had to guess maybe a little bit longer um, basically what you are going to do this is the thread you are going to use to kind of secure and I'm just gonna zoom in slightly and just gonna tie a knot around the top of this wrapped bundle okay you want to be as close as possible to the top but you can always move it around I'm just gonna make this as tight as possible oopsie okay and then I'm gonna start to pull this off okay and here it is completed you have your knots and before you start cutting the edges I am going to start the wrap with thread so here is my thread that I have this huge thing I picked off of Ali uh, I just love Ali for cheap affordable crafting supplies so basically what I do is start I just leave a little tail and I just start wrapping the thread around to create like a head on top of the tassel okay I'm just gonna wrap 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 there's a lot of wrapping in this tutorial <laughs> but the results are so worth it okay wrap 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 and I think just the thread does give it a little bit of a more dainty and it just wraps so much tighter than an embroidery thread okay so I think that should be good enough I'm just gonna cut this thread and again you will be knotting this thread okay I wish I had a little bit of a longer tail but we can make this work okay I'm just gonna need a surface okay okay so now that I've knotted my thread I'm gonna start putting my beads on so I do have a little bit of the thread left over. I'm just going to snip that off and let's start the beading process. So now we're going to need the needle for this part and I am going to loop um, the embroidery thread through the bead, uh, the needle. I'm just going to cut the ends to make them fit and I'm just going to feed this thread through the little hole. Okay, just like so. And here we are going to start the beading process. I'm going to start with my big chunky bead and then pull out the excess and start with a white bead and I like that gradient color so I'm going to go next with the light pink. Here we go and then we're going to pull that out and then I'm going to go into the red. Okay, and that's how that looks. Okay, and I'm going to now put in my jump ring. And this is what's gonna seal the top of the hole. So here I'm gonna slip the jump ring, right? And it's sitting like this. Now I'm gonna go around my jump ring, go around my jump ring so it looks like that. And then I'm going to pull this needle Okay, and then I'm going to feed all of this back into the beads. Oh no. Okay, just like so. And my needle fell out, of course, because I'm doing a tutorial. And it wouldn't be a tutorial without bloopers. Okay, just going to feed my thread back in. Okay. And now um, basically all I'm going to do is feed this back into the head of the tassel. Okay, just like so. And I'm going to make sure I pull this thread out. Okay, 
There we go. I'm going to pull my needle off and I am going to tie a knot in this thread so my beads are secure. Nothing is going to come out. And this is how this looks. Now, I'm going to cut the ends of my tassel, which I should have done earlier, but I got a little ahead of myself. And here is, okay, my tassel. There's some tangling. This thing needs a little bit of conditioner. Okay, now that my ends are all cut, um, you can tell it's a little uneven, but what I like to do is take this brush, and this is a pet brush that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I only use this for, for crafting. I don't actually own any pets. So I take it and I just kind of brush this out before I give it a haircut. So you could see here, like which strands are long and which strands are short. I'm just gonna take my garbage can and I'm gonna do a haircut on this. And just trim along so you can see now my tassel is nice and straight. Oh, not really. I could fix this little end over here. Okay. But now it's straight and pretty and combed out. Um, so this is the completed tassel. And I'm sorry if I butchered this tutorial a little bit, but you know, it's always easier doing it off camera versus on camera. And now I'm gonna attach this to the clip. So you can use pretty much any clip, but just in case you don't have any of these like bulldog clips, I figured I can do something with the um, clothes, clothes pin. So I wanted to show you, this tool is again, a bottle cap puncher, and I'll leave this link to the one I purchased off Amazon down below, but basically this punches through everything. If it can punch through metal, definitely could punch through wood. So I just go through here and then take a little, you could see that here, you can just punch, press it down, and it will punch a hole and just wiggle that out. And then you have a hole where you can stick your jump ring in. Okay, now we'll be attaching this tassel to a clothes pin. And I'm gonna use this one just so you can see better. The glitter one may be a little bit harder to see. So I'm gonna open up my jump ring and attach it to the hole that I just punched with my bottle cap puncher again such a cute way to send off mail. I'm just going to close this jump ring. Okay. And just like that, this has become a little dangle piece. So cute. And then I'm going to add my little um, charms that I have already put together here. I just attach it to the tassel itself. I'm just going to open up the jump ring. Okay, and then I just find that little loop that I wrapped, okay, that I wrapped the tassel around. And here I'm just gonna close this jump ring off. And here is the finished product, you guys. Again, super adorable. You could just hang this on a project. I'm gonna show you. Look how cute that is. So stinking cute. Actually, let me just do it the other way so you can see the shimmer of the clothespin. Look how cute that is and such a an fun and easy way to send some homemade goodies to your pals or friends. And that is it for my tutorial, you guys. I hope it wasn't too bumpy, but I will link some of the product information down below to make it easier for you. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.